Joining me now in the studio, Rabbi Shmuley Botech, best-selling author, columnist, relationship expert, radio TV personality, former advisor to Michael Jackson. I could go on and on and on. Welcome, uh, Rabbi uh, Botech. It's you, a pleasure uh, to be here. You have written a new book. I have. This is called Kosher Jesus. Yes. Now, I, uh, I'm going to guess, assume, I, I really believe it's going to be a bestseller. But I'm sure, willing, from your mouth to sure. God's ears. You also wrote the book uh, Kosher Sex. I did. But this is your latest. Yeah. It's just out. But it's also a controversial book, is it not? Kosher Jesus controversial? That's just a regular title. First of all, before we get into Kosher Jesus, in the space of 10 seconds, I just want to add my voice to those who are utterly condemning the acts of religious bigotry and intolerance that have dominated the news here in Israel over the past week. This is disgusting, nauseating, it betrays core Jewish values. You are not religious when you have a dark soul, no matter how black your hat is. You have to have love, compassion, especially when it comes to uh, non-abusive treatment of women. Now, getting into kosher Jesus, um, Jesus is the most famous personality of all history, and we Jews have allowed him to be ripped away from us based on a Christian narrative. And now that we have a political alliance between evangelical Christians in the United States, who are the most stalwart supporters of Israel, even more than the American Jewish community, it's time for us to build a theological bridge as well. Now, we're not going to understand Jesus in the same way, uh, evangelical Christians and Jews, but there is a Jewish narrative to Jesus' story, as he was a Jew, that has yet to be told. And what I've done in this book was look at the Gospels in the order of their essential writing. Mark is the earliest, Matthew, then Luke and John. And the story evolves. And the question is, why do so many of the details change? And what I posit is that as the, uh, Jesus was a Jew, and he never wanted to abrogate Jewish law, he never sought to uh, stop the fulfillment of the commandments, and certainly he wasn't put to death by the rabbis or uh, by the religious authorities, his purpose was to rebel against the Romans for their paganism, their persecution. And after the Jewish revolt of 66, the story changes. He is de-Judaized, as it were, and he was Romanized. And we end up with uh, John chapter 8, verse 8, where Jesus says, you Jews are children of the devil, thereby making Jesus the source of world anti-Semitism. Now, you take a Jew and you stick a, a white hood over him and make him a part of the clan. Uh, that's character assassination, and there is a general movement on the part of the world's Christians to rediscover the Jewishness of Jesus, because if you don't understand the Jewish, Jewishness of Jesus, you can't understand his humanity either. All right, what kind of reaction have you been getting, good and bad? Everybody loves me. They've always <laughs> loved me. I'm, I'm lovable, huggable. I have a nice, comfortable beard here. Having said that. <laughs> Having said that, look, I, 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 the reviews thus far actually have been... Uh, Amazing, which has uh, surprised me because I feared that people would look at this theory and they'd say uh, this is a revamping of Jesus' narrative. But uh, Publishers Weekly gave it an outstanding review. Um, Christians are going to have some problems with the book. Some Jews are going to have some problems with the book because for them, Jesus is not kosher. He's utterly trafe. I mean, he's the, the height of that which is not kosher. Uh, some people won't even say his name. When I was a child, uh, you know, we, we, we used euphemisms to describe the founder of Christianity. But as I said, this is all based on a, on a Christian narrative. Now, Think about this for a moment. We Jews today require influence. We need a seat at the table of intellectual ideas. We have to bring our universal values to, a, to Western civilization, which is crying out for guidance and direction. Shouldn't we be demonstrating that the very essentials of Christianity stem from Judaism? Shouldn't the world actually feel that it has a stake in the Jewish people's future, which will lead them to take a stronger stand in defending Israel? The Dalai Lama and Tibetan Buddhists are protected by the whole world because people look at them as a source of spirituality, which rescues them from a suffocating Western selfishness. But really, the Jews are have a biblical mandate to be led into the nations. I'm hoping that this book will be a major contribution to that literature. So if people have a problem with it, buy it anyway. All right. Rabbi Shmuley Boteach, the book is called Kosher Jesus. Thank you very much. Thanks for being with us.